few months ago that we were touring China. And yeah, they were all wonderful to us there. And it was a lengthy tour. I mean, we stayed there for a few weeks. And during that time, the Chinese people decided to honor me by the adoption of a baby panda. They're so cute, aren't they? <laughs> I do really regard you as an ambassador for cultural exchange. <laughs> I appreciate your, your approach for the cultural exchange. Yeah. And also I appreciate your very nice idea about uh, protection of the earth, the wild animals, everything. And I don't know if you know this, but there are less than 1,600 of them living um, in the wild. And they're so precious. And I, I guess tonight I'm going to stay because this company is based here. It's World Wildlife Fund. And the Chinese government have been working really hard. You bet. They've been working really hard to preserve this species. Hello. Last night I, I met a lot of the people that do the work for the World Wildlife Fund. Pleasure. Thank you so much for everything you're doing for us. Uh, you're Thank you do for what you do for us. <laughs> so we have the whole WWF team here. <laughs> Who is the team? It's good. I'm Lee. So, Lee Pastel. Nice Lee. to meet you. Good. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Yeah, we were with a couple of your uh, orchestra members yesterday, ah. Lisa, Lisa and Sarah. Yeah. And we got to show Yanni's team, his his band, uh, some of his band members, and uh, and some of the street team members and some of his fans. The whole gamut we took them from the basics of conservation, of panda conservation, up to energy conservation. We took them on a green roof tour, and it was just an amazing event. Well, the energy was great. My name is Shirley Kafora, and I'm the Yanni Street Team Leader for the Northeast Region, and I'm here to explore the World Wildlife Headquarters in DC. WWF was invited by Chinese government in 1980s to work and help Chinese government and China to protect the panda. The area uh, Yanni's donations for the cook stuff is in this uh, west end of this northern range of the panda habitat in Saxi province called Qingli Mountain Range. There's several ways we can actually monitor what's happening to pandas. And this is a sneak preview for you guys of the products we're actually getting from surveys. So these are camera trap photos. Um, so these are the kinds of pictures you get from cameras we put out in the forest. Welcome to Washington, D.C.'s third largest green roof. It's a happy roof, um, which <laughs> signs of that are it's grown in really nicely. There's bees, butterflies, we've had an egg laid on our roof. The birds have brought us uh, tomatoes. So it's just a really great place and you get an amazing view of the city. You can see the Washington Monument over here to your left. And when we wrap around, you can see the National Cathedral, which is, sits on the highest point in the district. Panda conservation is habitat conservation, is water conservation, is, is helping people live in balance with nature. So, but it starts with those pictures that we saw downstairs. And this is, I wanted to show you how we actually do that because people oftentimes ask me, well, how do you get these photos? And how do you, so it's not somebody sitting in the woods the whole time taking pictures, right? So we use um, something called a camera trap. It's a regular digital camera system and it's triggered by an infrared beam. So we're gonna set it and then we're actually gonna pretend we're pandas and take some pictures of ourselves. And then we can, can look at those. We'll put this SD card in my computer and see what we got. You know, I've actually been a supporter of WWF for a, for a while. And so to actually come to the headquarters and see what they do was just, you know, an amazing experience. Our guides were just so knowledgeable and they taught us about animal trafficking. You know, Yanni really emphasizes that what we do to the planet, we're doing to ourselves. And the World Wildlife Fund, um, you know, have the same message that they're trying to get out there, that, you know, everything's connected and it's a really delicate balance. And we've just got to be really aware of that and still enjoy life and the beauty of nature, but protect it. 
what you're doing, I got so much respect for it. This is, uh, uh, it's, it's an honor to meet you. No, oh, thanks. Yeah, you're, the, you're changing, you're touching the whole world. We are one people living on this one magical, beautiful place we call Earth. And whatever we do here, we do to ourselves. Your message was so inspirational at the end. It's so synchronous with the same message that we talk about. Uh, yeah. We have a vision of a future where humans live in harmony with nature, and the panda is our symbol for that. And yeah. it means so much that you've chosen the panda as a symbol for your concert tour um, to express that same message. The partnership between WWF and Yanni is a natural one, and it's a, a platform to tell the story to millions of people around the world and to combine that story with music that moves the soul. It was an opportunity and it was a big honor that the Chinese gave me and I took it to heart. And then one thing led to another and uh, then you guys showed up and things just exploded because you're a huge organization. These people affect the whole planet in such a great way. And it's not just about animals, they, 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 they go about it about it in such an intelligent way and I'm really proud to be associated with them.